Hey, Shalom, brothers. Uh, this is the brother Maya Kadar from the Great Millstone Camp uh, here at Cleveland. Uh, back with another lesson. Uh, Lord willing, it's edifying. Uh, first and foremost, I would love to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, who the world ignorantly calls God in Jesus Christ. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and you know blessings and respect uh, to all you Akim out there uh, that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth putting your freedom and lives at risk uh, standing up in great boldness for the name Yahabah Shem Yahweh Shah alright and you know this lesson right here wasn't planned you know I'm just gonna roll through the spirit man and you know, brothers, man, you know, we almost, we almost out of here. All right, we almost out of here, man. And you know, man, what the hell with everything in this place, brothers? And, and first and foremost, man, I, I, when I do lessons, man, I be mainly, you know, speaking about myself, man, and my struggles within the truth, man, you know? You know, don't worry, don't worry about, you know, if your woman cheating on you. You know, don't don't worry about, you know, if you're gonna lose your job. You know, don't worry about none of those things, man. Alright? Like first and foremost, hey man, you know, stress is a silent killer. Okay. But hey man, we have no control over nothing, you know. Yahabai Shimi Awa Shah has full control. And he knows what he's doing, okay? And, you know, as a matter of fact, you know, I'm going to title this, uh, Keep Your Eye on the Prize, man. Keep Your Eye on the Prize, man. Okay? Because, hey, man, the kingdom is close. You know? This is Matthew 6 and 33. It says, uh, but seek ye the kingdom first, the kingdom of Yahweh, and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you, man. How you seek the kingdom? By seeking your Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Daily. Meditating on the scriptures. You know, day in and day out. Matter of fact, let, hey, I love this precept right here in Joshua, man. Okay? This is the book of Joshua. Chapter 1, uh, verse 8. Okay? It says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt, then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and thou shalt have good success, man. Okay? So, hey, man, keeping the law to the best of your ability, you know, seeking righteousness, you know, meditating on the scriptures day and day and night. Okay, seek to do according to things that are written in the book. You know that old path that our you know forefathers was once on. Okay, and we should have good success, man. You know, not good success in this world. Good success in this truth, because remember, man, the Lord chose us out of the world. You know, so we're gonna have you know good success in this truth. And we're going to prosper in this truth, man. Okay? And, you know, hey, man, seek ye the kingdom first, man. You know? Hey, if you need a job, you know, to pay bills, the Lord's going to make sure you have that. You know? If you need food in your uh, refrigerator, the Lord is going to make sure you have that. You know, you want to deal with a woman? Hey, the Lord's going to make sure that happens. Okay, it's like a uh, it's like a child, you know, when a child's, you know, two months and, you know, he's uh, uh, going or he's about to turn four to five month years old. You know, that child can't speak to tell that parent, oh, I, I, I'm growing out of these clothes or, you know, I'm growing out of these shoes, man. That parent just knows, man. And that's how Yahweh Shimei Awashah is with us, man. 
He knows the things that we need. He knows the things that we want. He knows the things that are beneficial to us in this truth. So some things that we want, he's not going to give us. Okay. But hey, man, seek ye the kingdom first, man. And everything is just going to fall into place, man. Okay. And, you know, this is a fight. You know, this is a fight, man. You know, we're, you know, hey, because, hey, man, the Lord, hey, the scriptures say, without kind of serve the Lord, prepare thy soul to, for, for, for temptation, man. This is a constant fight, man. You know, the, the flesh against the spirit, man. Okay? We fighting all type of spirits. Hey, the scriptures say when, uh, when you depart from evil, you make of yourself a prey. Okay? This is a constant fight. But hey, let me get a quick precept. Um, 2 Corinthians uh, uh, 4 and 17, I believe. It says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. So, brothers, man, we ain't about to be going for this for long. You know, it may seem like, you know, we just catching, you know, mad hell. Why, you know, the wicked individuals just, you know, living their best life, man. Okay. But guess what, man? In Jacob's trouble, you know. That's when we gonna uh, 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 have the joy, man. That's when we gonna uh, laugh, man. That's when we're that's when we're gonna feel great, man. Because why, man? We know salvation is actually nearer than what it. Hey, man, it, it is it is as nearer nearer that it has ever been. Okay. This is Second Corinthians four seventeen for light affliction. This is light, man. This is light. Okay, the things that we're, we're 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 going through is light, man. Okay, we can we can uh you know we can deal with it because what we got the brotherhood, we got the Holy Spirit, we got the scriptures, man. All right, we got ways to uh, to dealing with uh, ways to deal with with, with you know our, our our different afflictions the Lord put us through, man. All right, but it said which is but for a moment, which means it has a, a, a ending point. It says working for us. A far more exceeding, exceeding an internal weight of glory, man. Okay? And we just basically patiently waiting for the kingdom. You know, uh, patiently, you know, waiting to um, to uh, be delivered, man. Brothers, man, in the kingdom, man, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna have to worry about sick, sickness. We ain't gonna have to worry about oppression. We, we gonna be able to uh, enjoy our children. You know, we're gonna be able to, you know, have multiple wives, uh, set up uh, 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 set up order within our household. We're gonna be able to keep the law to a T, man, which means no more death. We ain't gonna have to worry about these devils ruling over us no more, man. We're gonna eat real food, drink uh, 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 pure, clean water. We're gonna be able to uh, 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 enjoy our uh, 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 enjoy the animals, man. We ain't gotta worry about no more wickedness. No more homosexuality. No more women ruling over the men. You know? Just a moment, brothers. I'm at this ATM. All right, brothers. So this is hey, this is worth the fight, man. Okay, it says, I'm gonna read this back. 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians uh 14 to 17. For our light affliction, which is, is but for a moment, working for us. A far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. And that's what's coming, man. That's what's coming, brothers. All we got to do is be patient and lock in and endure. Whatever the Lord throw at us. Take it and keep it moving. Hey, you go off, you know, repent. Repent. As the scripture saying, let not uh, your iniquities uh, lift themselves up and keep going. Hey, man, it's, you know, hey, man, we know we serve in a, you know, a merciful power. We know our, our work is going to be accounted for. The Lord is, is not like Esau, you know, make don't make account of our, the Lord is going to make account of our labor, man. Okay. Hey, and, and I'm going to say this too, man. You know, and this is something that I'm guilty of sometimes, man. 
you know, hey, man, when you pray, man, sometimes you got to, you know, be in that, have that type of, you know, attitude that, oh, I know this is going to happen. You know, that's how much faith you got to have that, hey, man, I know this is going to happen, man. You, you, you can't pray in doubt, man, you know. Brothers, man, we almost out of, hey, this, hey, look, matter of fact, hey, I, I got to grab this precept, but it's for my brother Rayab, man, in the Great Millstone Cleveland camp, because this is uh, one of his favorite uh, precepts in Romans, man. This is Romans uh, uh, 8 and 18. Oh, Romans 8 and 18, it says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. Woo! So, the, hey, this suffering that we going through ain't nothing compared to what we going to get in the kingdom, man. Hey, the, hey, it's worth the wait. You know, it's worth the wait, brothers. This present sufferance, you can't compare it with the glory, man, the Lord is going to give us, man. Okay. So, hey, you know, I'm pulling up at the plantation, brothers. I hope this was edifying, you know, man. And with that, I want to say shalom, a wa'abah, ba'ba, and brothers, keep pushing. We almost home. Shalom.